Well, good evening, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful day today. Temperatures outside were very warm. A lot of us sitting in the low to mid 80s across much of East Mississippi and Western Alabama. And sadly, that is still translating to warmer conditions right now. We're still very much above average for this time of year. And by the hour by hour, we're still going to be going on to stay above average for this time of year, up to 10 degrees for our overnight lows. Humidity is starting to ramp up a little bit as our temperature is slowly getting closer to that dew point of 50 states. Feels like 68 though. Winds have calmed down quite a lot. We did have winds gusting up to 5 to 10 miles per hour, so it could blow it off a hat. But as of right now, it's calmed down quite a lot. So if you are last minute heading out to the polls, it looks to be staying fairly nice for the rest of the night tonight. 60 states by that 7 p.m. mark, but we're only going down to the upper 50s by midnight tonight, and we will stay in, in about the mid to upper 50s for our overnight lows tonight. So clear skies are to be expected until you are going to be waking up early in the morning. You'll start to see some fog moving back into the forecast. So let's talk about that now. Dense fog advisories have been issued for areas south or along I-20 and I-59, so just be very cautious of that even though you're not included at Scott Newton, Lauderdale, and Sumter. Don't be surprised if you only have uh, if you have an area of dense fog that could limit your visibility to less than half a mile. So just be very cautious. Take a little bit of extra time driving early in the morning. It should be gone out of the way as the sun continues to rise. By around 10 a.m., you should be all good to go for tomorrow. So just be very cautious of that. And as we're looking forward in our future cast here, you're going to be starting 10 p.m. tonight, mid-60s. As you're waking up tomorrow, we'll start to see that dense fog just for a little bit, roughly between the hours of 3 a.m. to about 8 a.m. So just be very cautious of that, especially if if you are going around or driving around any time around that time frame. So by 2 p.m. will heat up quite a lot, though. A lot of us sitting in the low to mid 80s for highs tomorrow. So another toasty day that has us well above average. Thursday, start to see a bit of a change, though, as the frontal boundary continues to push further and further toward the, towards the east. It's currently sitting in the Great Plains right now, but by Friday, we should be seeing its full effect. We might be seeing an increased chances of precipitation more towards northern Mississippi around Thursday afternoon, but don't be surprised if someone, especially more towards the Louisville Macon area, sees a little bit of a drop of rain. But rain forecast has us fairly low, at least for Wednesday and Thursday. Friday, like I said, that frontal boundary is going to be coming through, and that is the best thing that we could be seeing, especially in terms of our drought monitor. Still way, it's it's been bad. Exceptional drought is continuing to propagate more towards the east, so we're going to be tracking that in desperate need for more and more rain across Mississippi and Alabama. Now, here's what we saw today. High of 83, low of 46. Average for our are low but way above average on our high nowhere close to that record of 88 as we will stay away from the low 90s and upper 80s all the way until friday we'll still be in the low 80s but by the time that we see friday we'll see a big change in our in our weather with temperatures sitting in the mid to upper 60s with rain in the forecast for friday saturday and sunday saturday doesn't look like any type of a washout so if you do have any veterans day plans doesn't look like it will be uh